How's it going, chicks, mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're back with Monster Sweethearts. Specifically, we are back with Jaylene's mum. I never thought I'd actually be saying those words. I never thought I'd actually see Jaylene's mum. I didn't think of any of the mums in this game. If anyone's mum, I would like to see Xanth's mum, but that's not going to happen. We're here with Jaylene's mum, and she's not exactly a MILF. I would maybe take her out for some soup or something, I don't know, something strange and... You know, weird, but you know what? She seems alright. I've only just met her, so she could be a drug dealer for all I know, but what's gonna happen with Jaylene's mum? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Hello, Jaylene. It's been so long. She wraps her arms around me as the kids start hugging my legs. Oh, good. Do the kids recognize me as well, do they? Hey, guys. Jaylene, we missed you. Okay, I can see that as you cuddle my legs. Who are these children? Oh, good. <laughs> Line, please don't massacre any of them. I, I know you were good to those kids you read comic books to, but I don't trust you. So, and you can't blame me for that. Can you not use context? Ah, guys. Well, hello, Blake. It's great to see you. It's nice to see you too. Now, who is this? Oh, is she going to look so masculine that this must be the boy that will give me grandchildren? Well, I wish this was a boy, but it's not a boy, Mum, I'm sorry to say. This is Line. She's a friend. I'm her... Oh, she didn't just do that. <laughs> oh, she did not just do that. Oh, even her face! I didn't even notice that! Oh, she's shocked! What a thing to say! I'm pretty sure between lesbians and gays, there's always this respectful code where you don't tell the parent that you're gay. Ooh. Well, Line's certainly the rebel of the game. I'll give her that. Mm. Um, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting that. Um, wow. <laughs> well, why don't you come on in? Oh, okay. Well, sorry. You're not going to be getting grand. Mm. Awkward. <laughs> I have some food on the stove. Are you coming, Blake? No, I'm good. I should be heading back. You have fun with lime. Oh, God. I, I don't want to. Actually, I'd feel more comfortable if Blake was here. And I'm less comfortable that lime's back. Okay, Blake then walks away back to her car and driving away. Hmm. Well, come on now, Jolene, before your plate gets cold. Coming. D oh, okay. This is a nice house. Wait, but this is meant to be the nursery. I suppose the nursery is still a building nonetheless. Alright, due to the big sums of money from the government, my mum can keep the place clean and the meals big. Some kids disperse into their playroom, while some stay right under your feet. So is this a nursery or an orphanage? Because there's a key difference there. Into their playroom? I guess that could just be one room. Uh, the plates are right up there, Line. Get anything you want. Lime puts the largest portion on her plate, which I fully believe she'll eat all of it. I mean, she never eats, so I don't blame her. So, Lime, you enjoying your plate? Lime nods her head as she shoves her face full of food. Well, it's great to know she's out meeting people. Hmm. Lime is currently in her own world, one of food. I know that feeling quite well. I actually desperately want some meatballs tonight. Maybe if I'm a good boy, I'll get some. Well, tell me how you two met. Lion does not respond. She just keeps on chomping down on her food. Mum is taking this very nicely so far. Like, I know she's trying to cut, she's avoiding the kids thing. I know she didn't mean to say that, it's just like she wanted. Um, but, uh, well, I'm surprised she's not, not offended. It's just more like, more freaked out. I don't know, I would be if this girl was crazily eating the fun though. Ugh. We met in class, accidentally walking in the wrong class. All that stuff. Oh, that's cute. I'm happy you were able to find someone, Jaylene. Oh, she's lovely. You always seem lonely. I disagree with that. She always seems to be with someone and then jumping dimensions and then finding someone else. But that's just me. Mom, I was just stating a fact. I'm just surprised that you chose her. <laughs> Jaylene, uh, sorry, line. What, what do you think of that? What does that mean? Oh, bless your heart. Hmm. Lion ignored the dig as she went on with her eating. Anyway, Jaylene, how has school been? We talked about various things throughout the dinner with Lion being quiet. Uh, well, she's eating the food. What do you expect? Once we're done eating, I help mum with the dishes with Lion leaning against the wall. Sounds fun. 
One of the kids comes through the doorway and stares at Line. Okay. Why do you look like that? Like what? She... I mean, to be fair, as a guy, she looks all right. Like, she doesn't look like fancy rainbow hair and just, you know, a, a stripy t-shirt and all that crap. Which, you know, you can do. If you want to express yourself, I won't judge. I've been there with... I've been gay. Um, <laughs> why do you look like that? Like what? That? The kid points at Line's black eye and wounds. Oh yeah, I forgot she got in. Sorry, you didn't injure her enough. You could have at least tried to put a little like airbrushing on the eye or something. Oh, I got into a fight with a bear. There are no bears here. That's why. That's what they want you to think. Okay, Jessica, go back over to the others and play. I wanted an apple juice. Mama, wait a minute. How can fucking Jessica get a name? Sorry, but every single time, every time there's a point where a guy speaks and it's like, you know, he speaks again or something, it stays stranger. Jessica is not a significant character. She doesn't even have any goddamn person and she gets a name. I don't know why that made me angry, but it did. Mom opens the fridge to give her wish. Here, run along now. Jessica happily skips back into the living room, sipping her drink. Sorry about her. The kids here are very inquisitive. Maybe they're trying to discover themselves, aren't they? Hmm. Mum turns back to me while Lion leans against the doorway. My mum leans near me to whisper into my ear. Make sure when you two go to bed at night, you bandage those wounds properly. I'm surprised she can dress herself, much less wounds. <laughs> I'm sorry if I seemed surprised earlier. Oh, this mum is an angel. This is like the ideal mum if you're a lesbian. Or gay. Well, um, I'm not sure about straight yet, but I knew you might be that way. Then why did you say you wanted grandkids? How? You never look. You never took a liking to any men. Just didn't expect her out of all the people. Yeah, she's something. I go over to Lion while Mum finishes up putting away the dishes. Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling fine. Hmm. Mum, do you mind if Lion and I stay in my old room together? Yeah, sure. No one uses it, dear. Oh, she even keeps my room. Well, actually, no. Hold on. She might have remodeled it. We don't know yet. But it sounds like she's keeping the old room. Come on. What? Come upstairs with me. Okay. Why? My mum gives Line a punch out of the doorway and onto the stairs. Wow. My mum is quite brave to punch a criminal. Although she still doesn't know that Line is a criminal yet. Hmm. She follows me as we enter my old room. Oh, this is lovely. We have a, this is much better than our dorm room. Look, we even have a tele. Well, we have a television. Yeah, but it's a bigger television. And we have a carpet. And we have sunlight. You don't see sunlight in the goddamn sorority house. You weren't kidding. You only have an S and an Atari. Yeah, but that's how. That's what growing up is, is I guess. I don't know. You're old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, growing up too much, I might add. Excuse me? We're the same age. I'm 20. I'm 24. Well, okay, maybe not then. So? That's four years older than me, yet I'm like a foot taller. Oh, shut up. Is this why you wanted me to come up here to beat you at games? You, you just literally kind of just clung on to me and were like, no, right, let's fuck off together. I, I wouldn't really say that was the, me wanting you to come along. Actually, if anything, it would have made more sense for you not to come along, but okay. You could only play if you let me bandage you. No way in hell. Why not? I did a good job myself. I take a look at her and just see bandages are falling off with blood on them. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Lion, you look terrible. Let me change the bandages at least. Hmm. Fine. Let Lion sits down on my old bed as I fetch the first aid kit. Do you have one in your room? Yeah, I was a sick child. So my mum put it here just in case. Though it was mostly internal than external. I sit down next to Lion, slowly unwrapping the bandages on her hand. Ow! <laughs> Line recalls her hand back and revealing a big gash right in the center. Can we examine the root wound? I want to know, like, what exactly happened to injure her. Because I do suspect there's someone else still in this in this plot that we haven't seen yet. But, uh, I don't know. Line, what happened? She just stares at me before looking away. I gently bring her hand back to finish the unwrapping. Her entire arm is bruised and wounded. Still not specifying, you know, where what kind of bruises and wounds these are. Are they marked? Are they really cut? I don't know. Use your Sherlock sense. Oh, <laughs> that's actually quite a cute picture. I like that. Line, this doesn't look good. It'll be fine. 
Just change the bandages. Lion, I don't want these to get infected. It has dirt in them. Why do you want to help? I have basic human morals. Something you seem to lack. Yeah, I was going to say that, actually. You're acting like this shit just because I want to help. I don't need anybody's help, much less from you. Was well, there something specifically bad about Jaylene? Because, well, I mean, at least she's, you know, brought you to her mum's who has food and stuff. You need to learn how to be appreciative. If someone does something nice for you, you should be happy. You should be. I can handle it. I'm a monster, don't you know? Oh, good. Another choice situation. Uh, well, I don't want to hurt her. How about we're not that different? That sounds nice and understanding and sweet. Being a monster doesn't mean you can get less infected than me. Your skin works the same as mine. Does it? Does it really? I mean, that's like saying a vampire... Healing works the same as a human's healing. I mean, depending on the vampire, more often than not, no. <laughs> but okay, it makes no difference to me. Humans and monsters are different and should be treated as such. Okay, I guess Lion has had a bad history. I'll let that slide. There's no point in fighting that system. What are you talking about? When have you ever followed the system? I'm allowed to help you even if you don't like it. I just don't understand. Why help? Well, I don't like seeing others in pain, even if they're assholes. Well, now I'm very glad I didn't poke your wounds, because that would have just contradicted that sentence. The world doesn't consist of the people you met while in the foster site, <laughs> She looks away, giving me an angry pout. They're, these cuts need to have alcohol poured on them. It's going to hurt. I mean, personally, I know what you mean, but I'm not too against having vodka on cut wounds, but I've never really had a cut wound in a long time, so... Enjoy the experience. It's alcohol going in your system. Yes, I'm being immature about this. I place a towel under her arm that needs the most care and then pouring over the cuts. Line flinched but overall kept still because she she's a, a manly, manly girl. Lastly, I put the needed new clean bandages on her. She looks much better though. There's nothing we can do about the bruising. I'm surprised. Don't we have an ice bucket or something? Or an ice pack? I mean, I suppose we can't really wrap them around her, but I don't know. I'm surprised mum didn't ask what happened to this strange ginger woman. I mean, I'm surprised a lot of things about my mum. I'm surprised my mum is like a genuinely good cat. I would have thought that, like, Lonely would go for the typical, all oh, the parents hate the gay situation thing. I mean, to be fair, we still haven't met Jaylene's dad. But I don't think that's going to happen. Because, well, to be honest, that's a man. And we need to get all the men out of the game as soon as possible. Anyway, uh, we're done now. Happy? Hmm. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> she swipes her hand away as she sits down on the floor near my nest. Now, is there any... Okay, where are your games? Yeah, I was going to ask that. Are there any decent games? Under the bed. She looks under the bed but doesn't seem too impressed. I mean, it's a nest. I've never had a nest before. Or a, like a Nintendo console. I mean, I played games on the GameCube. And that was Falsebound Kingdom, the Yu-Gi-Oh game. And, uh... Well, I'm playing PSO now, but I, that was just on the Dolphin emulator. So I, I, I know nothing of Nintendo except the typical games. You only have four games? Four? Oh, God, what on earth did you spend your... your... Wait a minute. Sorry, am I mad? Or is that console transparent? If you look at that console, you can see the lines of the cabinet... But you can see the console's kind of accepting that. Like, you see it, and you can see the back of the... Have we got some kind of glass edition SNES? Or NES? How, <laughs> how does that work? Oh, that's a, this is just another one of those things I love about Lonely, to be honest. You're, anyway, you only have four games here. Which four? I am curious. I'm also curious where you got that NES from. I didn't play it a lot. I can see that. She starts scanning out the games before I stop her. You can play that after you tell me what happened to you. Why? No, tell me what the games are. I don't care what happened to Line now. Because you just disappeared with literal missing pi papers. Plastered and randomly show up at a dingy gas station bathroom. Wait. Oh, okay, no. I thought you meant the posters appeared on the bathroom. Never mind. Uh, you don't need to know. Thanks for being open with me. What do you mean? I'm tired of people keeping shit from me. I'll tell you if you tell me something. Okay. Okay, sure. What is it? Is she your real mum? Right, I'm gonna guess no, because she's blonde. But she does have similar hairstyle. What? Is the woman downstairs your biological mother? No, no she isn't. 
That doesn't. So I'm guessing we were like ditched and we got adopted by her. I mean, that's still a nice thing that we got adopted and stuff. Like, uh, she, she, she just seems nice. Really? Yeah, what about it? Nothing. I don't live with my bio parents either. Hmm. Did you know your bio mum? No. My mum said they gave me up due to being too poor to take care of me. All right, well, that's nicer than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like, it was because the man was just such a bad, bad man that you, the men couldn't be part of the household, and so we had to ditch him. Oh, no. But you met your bio mum, haven't you? No, they gave me away when I was born. Or at least, didn't you just say that? Am I mad? Uh, did you know your bio mum? No. But you met your bio bum. Uh, bio bum? <laughs> okay. Well, all right, whatever. So, no, they gave me away when I was born. Or at least that's what I thought. What? Jaylene, the monster world is a lot more violent than it may seem. To be fair, I've seen a fair amount of it through Xanth. Um, I think the monster world is actually less violent than I thought it would be. I mean, yeah, there's the experimenting on Bay as well, but... Well, to be fair, they're not that much of dicks in the monster world, as far as I know. And I have a reason to believe that the story isn't true. What are you talking about? My parents were good. They made the right choice. Yeah, I kind of agree with Lion here. I think there's something more to the story. Maybe Mum will tell us, but we'll see about that. I'm saying those parents may never have existed. What? My mum was a surrogate? Don't talk about them like that. Lion's expression is emotionless. She's taking what she says seriously. My mum wouldn't lie like that, would she not? To be fair, I could see that, but we'll see. Mums can. Seen it firsthand. Oh, I see you have a lovely family then, don't you? Don't talk like you know her, okay? Believe what you want. By tomorrow, I'm leaving. All right, well, you just came here. Don't you want to play the... <laughs> well, the game's so bad on the nest that you just want no part of me anymore. Okay, what? Why? I'm getting as far away as I can from this cursed town. Nothing good comes from here. What about me? What about Jaylene, I mean, but you know. Okay, cool. Uh, and this may be my last chance at freedom. Did they put you in jail? More like a torture chamber. I mean, to be fair, that's what happens when you murder someone. I'm not going to address that. The sheriff did that? Yeah. I have a hard time believing... Like I said, believe what you want. Your blissful ignorance may be helpful. To be fair, I can see the sheriff doing that, but only because Lion is just a complete dick. We're basically falling in love with a psychopathic murderer here. The only justifiable thing about this relationship is we're trying to, like, help her. We're a therapist right now more than a girlfriend. Just go back to town tomorrow and forget we ever met. Well, I'll try to. <laughs> Lion. No, I'm not dealing with anything from that town again. Now can I play my game? What? We made a promise, didn't we? I talk and you let me play these games. Ah, uh, fine. Lion then picks a game and inserts it into the console. What game? And I wanted to know what the other games were anyway, but you didn't bloody tell me. A familiar tune starts playing long from my childhood. I always wondered why a plumber... Oh, Mario. Well, I guess it is the one everyone goes to when it comes to the NES. Why a plumber could get in situations like this. Why do plumbers exist? There's no functioning pipe system. Mysteries of the ages. I sit in silence watching Lion play, rethinking what she said. Can we not rethink what she said? Can we rethink about the three other games? I want to know if she has Majora's Mask. I mean, I've never played Majora's Mask, but I'd like to. Wait, was Majora's Mask on the GameCube or the... No. This is how clueless I am about Nintendo and Xbox. I have no clue what she's been through. From what I have learned about her, she hasn't had it great. When she plays games, it's the only time I see her relax and enjoy herself. Hey, Jilene, can you do this level? Well, maybe because it is my console, but probably not. Lion hands me the controller without waiting for an answer. Okay, thanks for forcing that into my hands. We're currently in the middle of the last level. The last level, where I remember distinctly that you have to take a certain path or the level repeats. I actually know the bit you're talking about, but how on earth did you get there in, like, 30 seconds? I mean, I know there's that little, you can go on the top and then there's like those pipes you can go down and you advance through the game, but, well, um, still a bit quick, isn't it? Okay, I remember playing this with Victoria, oh, okay, along with the frustration that came with it. I played the level to the best of my memory as a child, and surprisingly it works. See, I'm good for something. <laughs> okay. Huh. She takes the controller back to fight the final boss. You beat this game pretty quick. I used a cheat code to walk between worlds. Yeah, I'm not surprised there, but I still think you did it a bit quick. 
At least you have the Zelda games. That's cool. Which ones? I want to know. What, the original? Is is that the, the remaining? Are all three of the remaining games Zelda games? Damn it, this is like when someone cooks for you in this game. It's like, you really want to know what they're cooking. In fairness, though, you normally find out what they're cooking. So without a walkthrough handy, that's going to take forever. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, good thing, too. Let's go back downstairs. Can't I stay up here? I'll break the games and you won't be able to play. Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That sounds like the ideal kind of relationship for me. I would be the gamer, and my relationship lady or man would just drag me away and force me to do stuff in the world. Alright, cool. You know what? On that somber note, I think I'm going to end the episode here, because, well, something's going to happen with Mum, I imagine, and I want to be prepared for it. Um, so what is going to happen? Are we going to be able to meet Jaylene's dad? That is something I would like to hear or see, but I've got a feeling there's something more to this parent thing. I think Lion had a point there, but what is going to happen? Are we going to find out about Jaylene's family? Or are we going to, I don't know, discover more about Lion so he was in the background trying to ruin her life? Well, you may be able to see that in the next episode. But yeah, if you want to play the game for yourself, and you want to discover this beautiful, beautiful world of lesbians and monsters, there will be a link to the game in the description down below. And without further ado, look at the screaming channel. Until next time, see ya!